Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Razer views. Our viewer is facing an issue where the Razer engine can't find a specific view. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore how to resolve it. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. Let's address the issue of the Razer engine not finding your view. First, we need to ensure that the view name is correctly specified. Next, we should examine the action context. This context is crucial for the view engine to locate the view correctly. Now, let's look at the view engine result. If the view engine cannot find the view, it will return a result indicating failure. It's important to note the file structure. The view must be located in the correct directory for the Razer engine to find it. Lastly, if you see a double forward slash in the search path, it indicates a potential issue with the view name or path configuration. Make sure there are no typos. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing the issue of the Razer engine not finding a view, there's a helpful method you can use. This method checks if a partial view exists before trying to render it. You can implement this method in your view pages by injecting the iComposite view engine and calling the render partial async exists method. This approach works well locally, but may fail when deployed to IIS. In one case, the issue was traced back to the .csproj file where the view was incorrectly set as an embedded resource. Removing those sections from the .csproj file resolved the issue in IIS. This solution applies to ASP.NET Core 2.2. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until your next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.